Hey Lionhearts, uh, we're here today to talk about cloth diapers. There's a lot of misconceptions and perceptions about what uh, modern day cloth diapering is. Um, so yeah, we're gonna talk about that. When you think about cloth diapers, I'm sure you think about these. But modern day cloth diapering is completely different than what it used to be. So I broke it down to five C's of why I cloth diaper, why we choose to cloth diaper. Uh, so number one is cost. Your average baby from newborn to potty training will go through about 6,000 diapers. So that definitely adds up when it comes to disposables. Uh, if you have cloth diapers, you need anywhere from 20 to 30 diapers in a baby's um, diaper span. When you do the math, cloth diapering is just much, much cheaper in the long run than disposables. And if you have multiple babies, you can use them for your other babies as well. Okay, so reason number two um, why we choose cloth diaper is conservation. So if cost doesn't really matter to you, you're not really keen on saving that extra money, um, you're conserving and you're helping save the environment when you cloth diaper. Uh, the average diaper takes about 250 to 500 years um, in the landfill before it decomposes, if it does at all. Um, so yeah, that's another reason, a really important reason why we do it third one is chemicals. Um, when you think about how sensitive newborn skin is and you think about all the chemicals that go in disposable diapers to make them highly absorbent, um, it's it's crazy. If you do your research, you'll find yeah a lot of alarming news about the chemicals that are in disposable diapers. Um, and if I knew that sooner, I wouldn't have used disposables on my newborn. So for any future children that I have, I will not be using disposables. I will start with cloth from the very beginning. Uh, so. The fourth reason for me is customization. As you can see, this one-year-old here is at the is at the stage where she moves a lot, she grows a lot, she's really tall. Um, but at one point, as hard as it is to believe, she was a tiny little newborn that was just a little bit over six pounds. Um, and the amazing thing about most all-in-one cloth diapers, they fit from newborn to toddler they fit from newborn to potty training and so that made a big difference for me when it came to the buying the diapers knowing that they would last for the entire span of her diapering journey and for any future babies also it made a big difference because the disposables when we did use them would leave little marks on her hips I don't know if it's because she's tall or she's built differently but um, they just seemed very uncomfortable on her so I do like the customization of the cloth diapers and it's worth mentioning that you have far less blowouts. I actually have had zero blowouts in my year of diapering her with cloth, but I've had numerous blowouts with the disposables when we did have to use them. So I think that's worth mentioning. And the fifth one is just downright cuteness. They're really cute if you got a chance to see her little butt. Um, there's all kinds of patterns. I have them back here drying. There's all kinds of patterns, different fits. Um, I just think they're downright cute. So for the care aspect of it, a lot of people just don't care. They don't care about spending that money, they don't care about the environment, they don't care about the chemicals, they just want something that's quick and easy. And that's fine, but cloth diapers, modern day cloth diapering is quick and easy. It's literally just another load of laundry. You just throw in these bad boys. When I went to the grocery store, I put them outside to dry and in less than an hour, they all dried in the sun. If it's not warm out, if you live somewhere where it's cold like I did in Canada, um, you can throw them in the dryer or you can put them on a line. You have a lot of options. So in terms of caring for them, it's really easy. Another thing is caring for the poop. Um, I will make a video about that and about um, using a spray pal, my spray pal review, how I do deal with the poop. It's really easy and it's 
definitely not as gross or as hard as most people think it is. I'm a germaphobe, trust me. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, so the care aspect in that terms, it, it's not what you think it is. Um, and lastly, daycare. A lot of people are concerned daycares don't take cloth diapers and that is a myth from what I've seen so far. I've been hunting for a daycare for her and um, I've checked from six to a dozen, I'd say, and so far every single daycare has said that they would gladly take her cloth diapers. So it is a myth that most daycares do not take cloth diapers. Um, and then I hear about cost, which is funny to me because it's quite the opposite. You save money when you cloth diaper, you do not spend money. The initial money that you do spend um, is to buy them, but you have to buy diapers anyways, you'll be spending that money anyways. Um, if you have a baby shower or family and friends that want to gift you when you are having a new baby, just let them know that you want a cloth diaper and maybe they can give you some help with that. Um, our first dozen was free because we had an Amazon gift card and we used that to buy it. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of options that way. If you guys have any questions, I will be posting more videos about how we launder them, the type of cloth diapers that we do have, and different ways that we use to um, clean them. So yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. And happy cloth diapering to my mamas out there that are doing it. Bye. <laughs> she had a big smile at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute.